What up YouTube? So my 50-50 taillights are in. These taillights have been impossible to find. I've been looking for them for like the last couple months and uh, I don't know why. I can't find them anywhere. I was able to find a set on eBay. I might have paid a little too much for them, but the hard find. And I got my lip in. Installed my new SIR rep lip. I'm very happy with the fitment. It's not 100% perfect, but it's much better than the garbage I had on there before. And um, I'm in debating currently if I should paint match this white or paint my side skirt black. I'm not too sure yet. I might even just keep it like this. It looks, it looks pretty good. But today we get rid of these ugly tail lights. I mean, they're not terrible, but you know, 50-50 is the way to go. All right, so check it out. I don't know where I left off with this, but I do have my, my black lip. <laughs> I got the 50-50 taillights. And then right now I'm currently getting ready to paint this car because, you know, I've got all this rough stuff. But first I got uh, new fenders in because these fenders are all crusty. And I figured a whole new set would be a whole lot better than trying to fix these dents. So, got a fresh one in there. Here we are here. I'm currently sanding this. Getting ready to spray some primer here in a bit. Then I'm gonna sand that one. And then we're gonna paint it and see how it comes out. And then um, from there, I'm probably gonna start the whole front end. I don't think I'm gonna do it today because I'm gonna have to sand this hood down because this hood has like a lot of little scratches. So we're gonna get rid of all that, prime it. Same thing with the bumper. You know get rid of all the imperfections prime it and then um i'll probably put the fenders back on and then do another coat with you know the whole thing and uh that's probably either going to be tomorrow or next week but i'll keep you guys updated for now i'm going to finish sanding this fender <laughs> finish sanding this fender get some primer on it and then i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done so what up youtube so here's a quick little update i got two coats of primer on here this one's got like three coats or so. I'm letting it dry for about 30 minutes or so before I go ahead and wet sand it. And uh, yeah, I know I'm painting outside, but yo, this is what I got. You know, you gotta work with what you have. And uh, I don't have a paint booth. I got the outdoors, so it's not gonna be a perfect paint job. You know, it's a little do-it-yourselfer. I don't plan on this being a show car, but you now I'm gonna take my time with it. I'm gonna sand it down, you know, make sure I get out all the little imperfections. Like I got a little water drop right here. Sand it all down, take my sweet time, and should come out good, you know, come out decent. All right, check it out. I put one coat of paint down so far. This is what it looks like. You know, I'm really happy with how this is coming out so far. That's just one little coat. And um, this is what I'm using to paint with this Wagner and yeah it's doing the job right now I'm I can't complain I'm curious to see how to do with clear but after using spraying that right there I think it'll do just fine so I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna hit it with another coat all right so if I just finished my last coat check it out this thing came out way better than I anticipated it laid down pretty smooth you know, for not having an air compressor gun, came out really good. So I'm gonna let this hang out for an hour or so, and then I'm gonna hit it with some clear later on. All right, check it out. Here's a quick update. Did uh, three coats of clear so far. I'm gonna do another coat here in a moment. This is where we're at. It's where bugs love clear coat. <laughs> They've been attacking my thing over here. I've been trying to, you know, shoo them away and blow them off as I could. But, um, yeah, here it is, you know. Got a little bit of orange peel as expected. Nothing that a little wet sand and buff will fix. Same thing with a lot of these little dirt pieces, but that's what happens when you don't have a booth. But overall, I'm really happy because it's way better than what I'm working with now. I did all this myself for the low. <laughs> all 
Uh, what up guys, so it's the next day. I've allowed this fenders to dry overnight in the garage, fully cure. They look great, man. I don't know if, like it doesn't really have that much orange peel at all. I'm so surprised. And I can't believe that came out of using this gun right here. So you guys could use equipment just like this. You don't need an air compressor or all that fancy stuff. Literally, I spent $150 on this and I got awesome results. Like no paint booth, just did on the side of the house. Awesome results. So now what I'm gonna start doing is sanding the car and then um reason why i'm painting the entire car is because closely there are a lot of little scratches all over this tire car it's like a animal's been walking on this thing or something then i got you know faded marks here here this is really bad the entire roof is terrible the trunk you can't see it but it has a whole bunch of scratches as well so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding this down. And uh, I'll update you when I'm done sanding it. I can't get over this thing, it looks great. All right, here's another little update. Right now I'm currently sanding with 120 grit paper. I'm getting out all these little rock chips. You know, the rule of thumb when you're sanding is if you can feel it, you'll see it in the end result of your paint job. So you want to make sure when you're standing, it's all smooth. You don't feel any of these little rock chips. So like all this, you know, I'm going to feel all these little rock chips. So I got to sand them out to the point they're like this, you know. And then um, when that's done, you got to prime over this because you don't want to paint over metal. So all these little spots got to get primed up. And that's where I'm at now. Alrighty, so I apologize. I am absolutely terrible at recording, <laughs> but um, I already got, I already finished painting. I got three coats of clear um, on it right now. I wanted to do four, but I ran out of clear coat. So three will have to do. And again, a little bit of orange peel, but I think a lot of it can go away once it fully cures. And then my bumper, I, uh, I did a bad job on the bumper, unfortunately. Um, got a lot of imperfections and it's gonna be a lot of sanding maybe even have to respray it but um, I think from a distance it looks better it's better than what was on there before that's for sure and then uh, check out my fenders I put them on the car all right check it out I put the fenders on the car already they look good the paint match is really on point don't mind this you know I'm, yeah don't mind that <laughs> but check it out it looks good like I don't even have to blend that shit that like blended right in like paint match was on point and the only thing is it looks a little weird because the pinstripe's not there but oh well I will update you tomorrow when I put it all back together all right YouTube so I just want to give you guys another update real quick the whole front end is finished the fenders hood and bumper all done and it came out amazing man there are a few little spots on the hood and the bumper that I got to, you know, wet sand and polish out. I got them wet sand and polish the whole thing, but, you know, these fenders came out perfect. The hood, look at the, the shine and it's not even polished or anything. It came out great. So, you know, I just wanted to test out the front end to make sure that the gun is capable of painting well. And it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the car. I'm gonna put that on a separate video. But yeah, this is the gun I got. It's the Wagner, I think it's the Flexio 3000. I'm gonna post a link in below for you to check it out and buy it if you want one for yourself. So yeah, um, you know, continue watching, you know, subscribe, like this so other people can see and uh, follow me on this journey of restoring this Civic, making it beautiful, all do-it-yourself stuff.